So what I want to do now is solve for the derivatives of our Chebyshev polynomials. So our derivatives of tn of x as well as un of x. And, and uh, just a quick reminder, you know, how, how are these things defined? Because that's going to be our most useful thing. How, how are these defined? Well, our, Chebyshe our Chebyshev polynomial, the first kind, is defined in this way. So cosine n theta is equal to our Chebyshev polynomial of cosine theta. And our Chebyshev polynomial of the second kind, similar, it's sine of n plus 1 theta all over sine theta. Okay, great. So what are we going to do? Well, we'd really like to solve for our derivatives of our Chebyshev polynomials with respect to x, where x is equal to cosine theta. Um, so let's start with something that we know. What do we know? We know that d d theta of tn of cosine theta, well, this is just the exact same as saying uh, the derivative of cosine n theta, right? And the derivative of cosine is minus sine, so we're going to get minus n sine of n theta. Okay, um, that's fine. Uh, but now, I mean, this this is this is our starting point. Really, what we would like to do is re-express this theta right here in terms of x, um, and we can do that with a change of variables. We can say that let's let x equal cosine theta, in which case our dx is equal to minus sine theta d theta, and hence our uh, dd ddx is equal to uh, one over or mi minus one over sine theta d d theta. Okay, um, this is good. So we can we can we can multiply. Uh, so so we we can plug this in here, and what happens? Well, we're going to get that uh, d d theta is equal to minus sine theta d dx. That's tn of x. This whole thing's equal to what? Well, we're going to have uh, well, sine, sine of n theta. Well, sine of n theta we can express in terms of our Chebyshev polynomials of the second kind. And we see that this guy right here is going to be minus n sine theta u sub n minus 1 of x. Okay, so now we've got it, right? We can cancel out this minus sine, this sine theta. Same on this side right here. And what we end up with is that the derivative d dx of our Chebyshev polynomial of the first kind, t sub n of x is equal to n u sub n minus one of x. So taking a derivative of our Chebyshev polynomial of the first kind gets us a Chebyshev polynomial of the second kind. And so that's kind of neat. And I'll, and I'll box that up because that is a, that, that's kind of a cool property and it's a nice way of relating our Chebyshev polynomials of the first kind to those of the second kind, especially since they have similar but you know slightly different definitions. Um, okay, so that so that's great. Now we can try and do the exact same thing with our polynomials of the second kind. So what do we see in that case? We see that uh, d d theta of u n of cosine theta. All right, what's that? That's just our d d theta acting on this quotient n plus 1 theta over sine theta. Okay, so we've got to do a quotient rule right here. So this whole thing is going to be equal to uh, n plus 1 sine theta cosine of n plus 1 theta minus sine of n plus 1 theta cosine of theta all over sine squared theta. That's our that's our quotient rule. Um, and now we can simplify this a little bit, right? So um, we know that you know so 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 you know sine is going to cancel with the sine down here, and this sine of uh, n plus one theta divided by another sine is going to get us a uh, u sub n, right? So this whole thing right here can actually just be re-expressed as uh, n plus one cosine of n plus 1 theta minus u sub n of cosine theta cosine theta all over sine theta. Okay, great. And the last thing to do now is, is to uh, change variables. 
And so when we change variables, uh, we're, this whole this guy right here is going to become uh, is going to become minus sine theta d d x u n of x. And what's going to happen on this right hand side? Well, uh, we're going to have um, what well, we're going to have. So so n plus one will stay the same. Cosine of n plus one theta, we have a nice name for that. That's a Chebyshev polynomial of the first time with, with its index n plus one. Cosine theta right here becomes an x, and then we can divide it over this sign right here onto this sign right here, and that'll just be one minus x squared, right? Because that's uh, we, we, we get that from cosine squared plus sine squared equals one. And so what we find uh, in the very end is that d dx of u n of x is equal to we're going to have n plus 1, n plus 1 times t sub n plus 1 of x minus cosine theta is x u n of x all divided by, well, we have an extra minus sign and then sine squared, so we're going to have x squared minus 1. So we, we've, we've, we've got a nice way of representing our derivatives for Chebyshev polynomials of the first and second time kind in terms of other Chebyshev polynomials, and so that this is a this is a nice result relating the two types of polynomials.